So we'll pick up where we left off. Remember we were talking about um, compound inequalities. We looked at AND statements, and so now we're going to look at OR statements. In an OR statement, we use any place that there's a line in either graph. We just smash it all together. And any place that was shaded in one graph is included. Any place that was shaded in the other graph is also included. So we'll start with example three. In example three, we have two statements again with an OR between them. So let's solve the two statements first. So we have 2x plus 3 is less than or equal to 11. We'll subtract 3 from both sides. Eleven minus three is eight, and then we'll divide both sides by two. It's a positive two, so nothing, the sign doesn't change. And we get x is less than or equal to four. So that would be the first part of our set builder notation. So then we'll look at our other equation, inequality I mean. 3x minus 4 is greater than 17. So we'll draw our line down here. We'll add 4 to both sides. And that gives us 3x is greater than 21. Then we'll divide both sides by 3. Again, it's a positive number, so it doesn't change the inequality sign. We have x is greater than 7. So the rest of our set builder notation would be or x is greater than 7. So for an or statement, we want to include any place that on the graph um, that has a line. So we're going to graph them both directly onto the graph for ors. So we're going to start at 4. So that's here. And that is opening towards the 4. So 4 is as big as it gets. We want to go smaller than 4. This way. Now that's less than or equal to 4, so we draw a bracket right there. Then we have 7, and x is, it's opening to the x, so it's x is bigger than 7. So from 7, we would want to go bigger. And it's just greater than, so we'd have a parenthesis there. So those, this time we've got two pieces to our graph instead of one. So here's how we write our set, our interval notation. We still read this graph from left to right. First thing we see from the left is this arrow towards the negative side, so that's a negative infinity. And then we get to the 4 with the bracket. And then we have a new piece, which starts with 7, and it goes on for forever in the positive direction, so we'd have a positive infinity. And we've got two pieces to our graph, and so we have two pieces to our interval notation. And we put a U between, and that stands for union. It means we're using both of those um, together. Let's look at one more OR statement. So again, we have uh, two pieces that we're going to solve. So let's start by doing that first. Um, we need to distribute this. So when we distribute 15 times X, we get 15X. And 15 times 1 is 15. So we have 15X minus 15 is less than 15. A lot of 15s there. So we'll add 15 to both sides. That leaves me 15X is less than 30. So we'll divide both sides by 15. Again, it's a positive number, so it does not change the inequality. And we get x is less than 2. So we can go ahead and write that part in our interval not or set builder notation. We'll do the same thing with our other. We're going to take 5 times x and 5 times 3. We get 5x plus 15 is greater than 15. We'll add, or subtract, I mean, 15 from both sides. That gives us 5x is greater than 0. We'll divide both sides by 5. And gives me x is greater than 0. We divide it by a positive 5, so the sign doesn't change. So we would also have x is greater than 0. So let's look at that on the graph. 
So if we start with this first one, it says x is less than 2. So 2 is our biggest, and we want to go less than that. We would have a parenthesis there at 2 um, because it's just less than. Now over here, we have x is greater than 0. So we would start at 0, and we want x to be bigger, so we go this direction, and there would be a parenthesis here. Now what happens when the graphs overlap like that, or they go opposite directions like that, is that we really just don't put those parentheses on there. This is an OR statement, so anytime we have a graph, or any place we have a line, we want to include it. We end up with the whole entire uh, number line shaded. So if we write that in interval notation, it would be negative infinity to positive infinity. It's the whole entire thing.